What's up YouTube, Jeff back again from DopeTechDaily.com. Today I'm bringing you guys a video to take a look at the iPad Pro 10.5 versus my new tablet pickup that I just made a couple videos on. If you guys want to check those out, I'll link them below. The Samsung Galaxy Tab S4, which is right here. Now today I'm going to focus on five reasons you might consider picking up the Galaxy Tab S4 over the Apple iPad Pro 10.5. Both of these are 10.5 inch tablets, but they do offer uh, some advantages and disadvantages on each side. Now this is not a video to hate on Apple, so please don't worry about that. This is just talking about why you might want to get the Tab S4 in your particular circumstances over the iPad Pro. I'll make another video talking about why the iPad Pro might be preferred over the Galaxy Tab S4. So the first reason that you might prefer the Galaxy Tab S4 over the iPad Pro 10.5 is the new redesigned front of the device. You'll notice that it's very symmetric. I talked about this in the last video. You can see there's a minimal bezel now around the sides and also the top and bottom. They got rid of the home button down here. There used to be a home button here on the Tab S3. That's not there anymore. Now when you open the tablet, you do use facial recognition. You can see over here, it sometimes works behind the camera, sometimes doesn't, because uh, the camera is blocking, of course, the uh, facial recognition from working. But you do use facial recognition now. That's something that is not available on the iPad Pro. So the iPad Pro 10.5 still has a home button, physical home button, right down here at the bottom. Of course, with Touch ID, which is convenient, but you don't have Face ID unlock, you know, up here like you would on the iPhone 10. Now, of course, Apple is going to release an updated version of the iPad Pro, most likely this fall. And when they do, I will make another video comparing to the Tab S4. Again, I'm not trying to be biased, just pointing out the things that are there right now. And if you look at the two tablets right now, the Tab S4 just has a more symmetric overall look. And the home button being removed in favor of facial recognition is certainly a nice thing for a lot of people. Uh, the next thing is media viewing. So, of course, you probably know if you have an iPad or you have any sort of Apple device that's a tablet and you use it to watch media... When you do watch YouTube videos using the iPad, you're going to get these bars on either side here. So you see, you get fairly thick bars uh, on the top and the bottom whenever you're watching media on your iPad Pro 10.5. And that does annoy quite a lot of people. For me, it's not the biggest deal in the world. But the Samsung Galaxy Tab S4 with a 2560 by 1600 resolution on this tablet is better suited for widescreen media viewing. So if you go into YouTube and you want to watch a video here, you're definitely going to get minimal black bars uh, compared to the iPad Pro 10.5. You'll notice here the bars are still there, but they're very thin, so they kind of blend right into the bezel. So I definitely think that if you're going to be using the tablet primarily for media viewing, that the Tab S4 definitely looks better watching YouTube, things like that, uh, where you're watching widescreen format media. And again, because of the form factor uh, and the way Samsung set up the resolution to really be beneficial to that. The next thing about the Tab S4 that's a huge advantage is the S Pen. So the S Pen actually comes bundled inside of the package when you buy a Samsung Tab S4. It's right here and you don't have to pay extra money for it. So, of course, with the iPad Pro, you have to buy the Apple Pencil Extra. It's $99 if you want to use it. With Samsung, you do get all the options of the S Pen, like S Note, um, ScreenWrite, Live Message, all that kind of cool stuff built into the device out of the box. Also, I think the integration with the S Pen is a little bit better. The Apple Pencil is kind of a nice add-on, but the integration's not there sort of from the top down. Samsung has lots of uses for the S Pen built into the Galaxy Tab S4 and of course the Galaxy Note devices as well. And the fact that you don't have to pay extra for it and still get that great support is certainly a pretty big deal. The next thing is the Samsung DeX feature. So Samsung DeX is now integrated into the Tab S4, which means that you don't need to use an extra docking station to make it work. So if you go into the settings uh, and you just search up here, I find it easier just to search for DeX, you'll see right here under advanced features, you can turn it on or off. And I've started to play with this quite a bit. It's actually quite nice. If you hit on, 
it'll go ahead and launch into Samsung DeX mode, which will take you basically into this computer slash desktop experience. Kind of looks like a Windows setup where you have a bar down here with all of your apps. You can expand those as well, open them up. You can drag the windows around, have multiple windows open at one time. It's really quite nice if you're really into productivity, having a status bar down here with the battery, Bluetooth, Wi-Fi, all of that stuff. Over here, you've got your launcher so you can get into your app drawer still um, and also your regular sort of Android navigation buttons on the side. So having this desktop-like experience is certainly a really cool thing. Uh, obviously, the iPad does not offer anything like that. Uh, not that there's anything wrong, of course, with iOS. iOS is great. There's lots of great apps that are optimized for the iPad, even more so than Android, of course. So I'm not downplaying that, but it would be nice if Apple would offer some sort of desktop experience so you can get some sort of two-in-one experience with the iPad over time, I'd really like to see that. The fifth and final reason I would say to consider the Galaxy Tab S4 is just Android. So if you're an Android fan and you like using Android devices, you like customization, you like the freedom that comes with an Android device, it's not locked down as on iOS, having that freedom with your tablet as well as your phone, and also if you use a lot of Google services or a lot of Samsung services, those are going to be integrated really nicely into the Galaxy Tab S4, where it might take a little more work to integrate them with the Apple device, of course, because it's running iOS. So if you're an Android fan, that would be the final reason that would push me over the top to go from the iPad Pro and instead pick up a Galaxy Tab S4 along with all the other reasons that I've mentioned today. Anyway guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please like, comment, subscribe, hit the notification icon below. Find me at dopetechdaily.com, Google+, Instagram, and Twitter. The link's in the description. Also find me writing at gadgethacks.com where I write about Android. Hope you guys enjoyed the video and I'll see you in the next one. Thanks a lot for watching.